What we need is a, what, what I, want a pre, I want a president that'll bring us a good sex scandal again. We, I mean, we haven't had that. Obama, you know, the only sex scandal is, that he's involved with was when he pulled out of Iraq. You know what I mean? <laughs> we need a good sex scandal, you know, like bring Clinton back, right? He's hot, isn't he hot? He's old, but he's hot. But I know, you know, the women used to love Bill Clinton because here's the reason, I think. He used to go out with women who look like most women, like the rest of us. No, some of you are more gorgeous than that, but some of us, okay? <laughs> I mean, JFK, if you read your history, he had to have Marilyn Monroe, models, Angie Dickinson, a beautiful girl, beautiful actress, you know? But Clinton, he liked a fat ass, and we enjoyed that about him. <laughs> right? I mean, Monica Lewinsky, who's back in the news now, you know, uh, she was madly in love with him. And I, I know why. I know why. Because he used to tell her she looked thin. That is the reason. <laughs> she would go into the Oval Office and he'd say, Monica, did you lose weight? I mean, who wouldn't blow a guy like that? <laughs> Come on. You tell me I look thin, I'm on my knees, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, I'll give you a little history. You know, the whole thing with Clinton was back in the day when he was the Arkansas governor, Paula Jones, this woman, accused him of exposing himself to her, right? That mm-hmm. <laughs> and, you know, I'm a feminist. I wanted to believe her. I'm a good feminist. I did, you know, natural childbirth, no eye makeup, no lipstick. <laughs> and I really wanted to believe this girl. <laughs> She said that she could identify his genitalia and because it had some special demarcation. What do you think it was? I, I'm, I'm driving myself crazy all these years trying to figure out what could it have been? Did it furl out into the American flag? We know it swung to the left, but other than that... But you know, maybe to a girl from Arkansas, a circumcised penis was a, a special demarcation. <laughs> you know, she went home and she said, Mama, it was wearing a hat. <laughs> so I don't believe it, unfortunately, because I was married for 16 years the first time, the first time. I couldn't pick out my husband's pecker in a police lineup. <laughs> I don't even remember his face. <laughs> <laughs> you know what else we do on the show? I've met a lot of people. I mean, I met... Uh, Oh, a lot of movie stars and people. I mean, Andrea Bocelli used to come on a lot, the singer. You know who he is? Um, but I don't think he's blind. <laughs> I really don't. I mean, uh, he was, he's always looking down, staring at my tits. I'm just saying. <laughs> I don't think he's blind. I think it's a gimmick, you know. The three tenors had a gimmick. He had to come up with something. And anyway, let's assume that he's blind for the sake of argument. Why does he have to have a gorgeous girlfriend? He can't see her. <laughs> Oh,